regime in Flushing, and many Mets fans are very happy about it. The new owner, Steve Cohen, met the media today. He is speaking the fans' language, and he's got the deep pockets to back it up. <laughs> Our Otis Livingston here now. It is a new day, oh. That's right, Christine and Marie. Steve Cohen hit a home run in his first appearance as Mets owner. He said all the right things in his introductory press conference, including talking about winning and the World Series a number of times. Mets fans certainly have to feel excited. But if I don't win a World Series in the next three to five years, you know, I'd like to make it sooner, then, then you know, obviously, you know, I would consider that slightly disappointing. Met fans had to be drooling over that statement. Not only do they get the richest owner in Major League Baseball, they get one of their own. Cohen has been a diehard Met fan since 1963. I'm essentially doing it for the fans. When I really thought about this, you know, I can make millions of people happy. And what an incredible opportunity that is. And so, you know, that's how I'm thinking about this. You know, I'm not trying to make money here. I'm not in this to be mediocre. Two, two to you know, that's just not my thing. Breaking. I want something Breaking great. Now. And I know the fans want something great. That's my goal, and that's what I'm going to do. But there is a fine line between being a diehard fan and a successful baseball team owner. How do you separate in your decision making being a fan and also being a businessman because some owners can be emotional and go out and make changes you know that they feel are necessary I can only tell you the way I run my business at point 72 and I'm very measured you know and very calm and very try to be very thoughtful about things I think impulsive decisions tend not to work I'm the new guy at the table here, all right? So I got a lot to learn. And so that's why I need to surround myself with real professionals. You got to pick sides. If you're not on mine, you're gone. Cohen was actually the inspiration for the fictional character Bobby Axelrod on the Showtime drama Billions. Cohen said he will definitely spend to make improvements, but will spend his billions wisely. I can promise you we're going to act, like I said, like a major market team. Are we going to act like drunken sailors, you know, in, in, in the marketplace? No. Very impressive today. But I have to tell you, during the press conference, I didn't think the status of first-year manager Luis Rojas was an issue, but it came up. Team President Sandy Alderson says he's coming back, but with a major caveat. We'll have more on that coming up at 6 o'clock. KJ, Marie. Wait, 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 wait. That's come a on. cliffhanger. That's not right. That's why you have to come you back. Give us something. You guys are going to be there, so you might as well, well come I know, back. But I mean, come on. Can I just say how refreshing it was to like hear that? You know, just to say, you know, I'm here to win. I'm doing this for the fans. Yep, and he has the money to back it up, so free agents and, and the like should not be an issue. Says he's not competing with the New York Yankees. He's competing against the 29 other major league teams, but. I think he's going to be competing against these yeah, Yankees at some point. That. You know what? It's good. <laughs> That's right. Good for the city. Competition is healthy. All in general. You got it. That's All right. Oh, thank All right, you. Guys. We'll see you, I guess, at 6 o'clock. Yeah, you'll be there. Appreciate Fine, it. I'll be. <laughs> I think so.